What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're gonna to be pulling soul stones and it's because of the monster's path. So if I just show you, um, we can get a whole bunch of points here and we need to go hard on this. Um, I'm definitely not going for the stuff at the bottom, but we are gonna be picking up all these lunar points. Uh, we're gonna need them um, for Zinagrir in the um, Lunar Festival Titan event. So yeah, we definitely want this. Um, these five perfect souls. This is going to be huge for Fire Knight. Um, if you're not doing six already, it will definitely help you do that in hard. And if you want to, I'm sure, I'm sure if I put Phantom Touch on her, bring in for Fire Knight hard 10, she is going to be the key for that. So yeah, we need to go hard on it. So let's pull some soul stones. We've got 43, three and one. Uh, let's look at the wish list. Got Pythion, we got Duchess, obviously two huge arena champions and also game changing for PvE. We got Dreng, who I use on Sand Devil, which I want to speed up a little bit. Uh, then we've got Maneater, um, who I need for Amos, but also for Clan Boss as well. Then we got Cauldron the Blue, who obviously, again, Fire Night Hard 10, a real game changer for that. Venomage, I just want to try and empower a little bit. Huge for Curse City and Amos. And then we just got sort of you know, three of the best rares in the game. So let's go hard and good luck with your pool, guys. I'm hoping we get some real, I really need some decent um, souls. Like, I don't know. I, I just feel like they really need to change the system. It is so frustrating. So nothing great there. Vogoff, obviously, obviously he's a beast. Such an insane healer, really useful for Bommel. Uh, Gore Grab, um, love this guy. Great, like, sort of early progression champion for like arena, faction wars, and just dungeons in general. Like, AoE revivers are always going to be good. Apothecary, another like really good early game champion, great for progression, can be used in secret rooms as well. And we're down to like our last. 10 shaman oh legendary taras two stars i wish i had a taras that would be huge obviously he's an absolute beast in the arena he's number one and you definitely would want to go uh bone armor with him um just makes him so hard to kill let's uh, just pick some of these up quickly all right three more to go and it's a rare Grave Chill, she's okay. Um, pairs up nicely with uh, Frozen Banshee, but um, I prefer Frozen Banshee. I'd rather use Frozen Banshee than Grave. Okay, it's an epic. Oh, and it's just trash. Okay, so let's go for the Immortal Soul Stones. Fingers crossed we get something decent. Okay, it's a rare skeleton in the bin. Legendary drag. Oh, I don't have him. Oh, that I think it's a dupe as well. I think I've already got like maybe a five star for him sitting in the vault. Hound, uh, my favorite food. So, Eternal Soul Stone, come on. Okay, it's an epic. And it's Talia. All right, that's oh, I'm gonna hold on to it just in case for Curse C, but more than likely it's gonna get sold off. I hope you guys have way, way better luck than me. And guys, like seriously, we need to go hard on this monster's path. Uh, make sure you pick up these lunar points. It's going to be a huge, huge game changer for you. Um, but yeah, so that got 16,000 points. That's a decent start. And I'm going to have to push hard in champion training. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.